Hey everybody, I'm smiling on the outside, but I'm frustrated on the inside. Had these things on and off multiple times, cleaned them multiple times, new float valve, new float needles, still had problems. Originally we had water in the system, you saw that video, we had, got that fixed. Then we started finding fuel in the oil, so now I've been working on that. No matter what I do, still getting fuel in the oil, still getting flooding at start and then flood out, spark plugs will be wet. I dry the spark plugs off, put them back in there, crank up, boom, flood out. So after talking to a mechanic here locally, did things he wanted me to do, leak down tests. I've done, I've done so many testing on the, even the carburetors. Pressurized with air to see if anything pops. You guys have seen those videos. Then I put a remote tank, I fill it full of gas, I let it sit overnight, not a single leak. Put them on the bike, floods the bike out every time. Got on a Sudco, talked to a tech from Sudco. Went through every step, everything I've done to, to these carburetors. Finally, it comes to only thing I can find is on the float where the needle sits. So, you know, it plunges the, the little spring loaded plunger. Now, over time, what's happened is I bought these from Sudco 14 years ago. So, over time, what's happened is that little plunger has created a divot, like a little dimple right there where you adjust the float height. And so what's happening is, Sidco says, it is probably getting hung up and that's causing a problem. So hopefully in four days, I'm gonna have all new floats. And I have, they did tell me, they said, look, if you don't wanna buy new floats, you can sand it down and then reset your float height from there. But you can sand it, smooth it down to try and save you a few bucks. I'll do that for these and have them as a backup. But my the opportunity's there and they have them in stock, I just went ahead and ordered four more and have them sent to me. Guys, so I just want to let you know whether it's your OEMs or these FCR carbs, if you're still getting some flooding and you've done everything else you're supposed to do for doing a rebuild on these, check for that dimple. That's probably going to be your source. I'm hoping it's my source, and I'll get back to you with an update later. All right, also in the description below, I'm going to post up in case you're able to find some. Some of these are popping up now on eBay and different GSXR forms for sale. I'm going to put the stock settings from Sudco on 39mm FCRs for a stock GSXR 750. All right, I'll see you next time.